Hello everyone, this is Oshuni Dash Gupta from Chinda. Today, we will work on a very exciting problem related to the AMGM inequality. It's an application of that from ISI BSTAT BMAT entrance 2022 objective problem number 11. But as usual, we will use this problem to learn a certain technique that is useful in mathematical Olympiads and other similar contests. So let me first tell you the problem and then we will go into the strategy and the strategy is really interesting though so, so stay on the problem says that x and y are positive numbers positive real numbers 3x plus 4y is also given to be less than 72 this is sometimes known as a constraint equation constraint equation or inequalities are really exciting there are advanced calculus techniques that can be used there but here we will just use algebra pure algebra and we will be able to achieve the objective the goal and what is the goal the goal is to maximize the value of this quantity 12 times x times y times 72 minus 3x minus 4y we have to find out the maximum value this quantity that can attain with this particular constraint that 3x plus 4y is less than 72 and interestingly enough we will use amgm inequality here um, this is a very nice application of it if you want to maximize something amgm or power mean inequality can be a very useful tool for you i will give you sort of the crux of the strategy so here is the strategy we discussed this in the algebra module of the isi cmi entrance program at chinta and math olympiad program at chinta so you can check the link in the description for those programs the strategy is this that suppose you have three quantities a b and c three numbers it's very important to make sure that the numbers are positive or at least non-negative let's not, let, let's write non-negative so we have three quantities a b and c and suppose we would like to maximize their product maximize the product the key thing to remember key note is this it is maximized when all of them are equal this is when maximum is attained and it follows directly from the amgm inequality because a times b times c raised to the power one third is always less than a plus b plus c by three this is the amgm inequality but there is an additional line to the statement of the amgm inequality that sometimes people miss but you should not miss it at all it says that equality is attained when all three quantities are same so both of these things are equal both of these things are equal when a is equal to b is equal to c of course this requires proof and we discuss it in the amgm inequality class at the math olympiad or the isi cmi entrance program we don't we won't discuss it here it's a very exciting proof there are multiple proofs from each of those proofs you can learn something it is a very nice book that you can refer to it's inequality by little mathematical library it was a soviet book maybe i will talk about that book in some other session where i will i do book reviews it's a very nice book where the amgm inequality is proved by a very different strategy uh, usually it is proved by induction anyway let's come back to this there is a geometric connotation there is a geometric visualization of this particular fact that i just said that a times b times c is maximum when all three quantities are equal this 
has a very useful relation with the volume of a rectangular parallelopiped. Um, can you think about it? Can you tell me what would be that geometric visualization or geometric statement that actually describes this very algebraic statement in the comment section? It's really fun how you can connect algebra and geometry like this. Now, coming back to it, what it says essentially is this, is this, that if you would like to maximize this quantity, first make sure that everything is non-negative. So that's fine. X and Y are non-negative. That's given. And since 3X plus 4Y is less than 72, therefore 72 minus 3X minus 4Y is also positive. So all the numbers here are positive numbers. So we can use the ANGM inequality. Therefore, the maximum is attained when everything is equal, like all three of them are equal. So which three of them? Well, it is three. You can write this like, like this three times X times four times Y times 72 minus three X minus four Y. So if all of these three quantities are equal, that's when the product attains the maximum value. Can you tell me what would be the value of X and Y and what would be this maximum value at the end of the day? If you just solve this equation, it's really simple. 3X equals to 4Y. 3X equals to 72 minus 3X minus 4Y. And 4Y is equal to 72 minus 3X minus 4Y. All three of them are equal to one another. So there is a lot of information here. Maybe you can tell me by solving X and Y, both are one, they both will be one digit number. That's a clue for you. Uh, solve for X and Y using this equation and then find me the maximum value of this product. You can put it in the comment. Uh, also in the description, I, I have added the link to other problems from this particular contest. Um, Math Olympiad program related information and ISI CMI entrance related information. So you can use them. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Keep on doing great mathematics as usual. Take care. Bye.